presidential pardons usually make headlines when granted to high-profile figures like senior officials of conglomerates on special occasions like Independence Day. Once again, we're reminded that this is no ordinary president we have at the top office. The Moon administration's first such gesture applies to thousands of average Joes and the socially disadvantaged. Jim Myung Gil has our top story. The government granted special pardons to 6,444 people on Friday. The government has decided to give special pardons to those convicted of minor crimes who have serious illnesses or who are parents of young children. Over 5,000 people on probation will have the remaining sentences dropped. Around 1,000 people who are currently in prison will have their jail terms reduced or terminated. The beneficiaries also include 25 protesters who were convicted after a deadly clash between police and residents who were opposed to a redevelopment project in Seoul's Yongsan district in 2009. The violent clash on the roof of a building had left five protesters and one police officer dead, with dozens injured. Former lawmaker Cheng Bongju was the only politician included in the pardons. Tong was convicted for violating election rules after making allegations ahead of the 2007 presidential election against then-candidate former president Lee Myung-bak. Tong had claimed Lee was the real owner of the financial firm BBK, which was responsible for stock price rigging. The government did not release jailed business tycoons or violent criminals. We have not given special pardons to government officials, economic and violent criminals to maintain law and order. The pardon list falls in line with President Moon Jae-in's pledge not to pardon anyone convicted of corruption or interfering with financial markets for vested interests. President Moon had previously said bribery, embezzlement and dereliction of duty will be seen as corruption offenses. In Korea, the government traditionally grants such amnesties on nationally significant days. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.